Welcome back. Welcome back. Bless up. Bless up. Bless up. Thank y'all for coming. Thank y'all for coming. Yes, thank you for coming. If you haven't hit the like button, please do so if you want to. And then you don't have to. But just don't hit now one of them. Just keep it moving. Thank you. And if you haven't subscribed, hit that that button, that red, and turn it gray down there. And, and turn your notification bell on so you know when I go live or upload a video. Yes, bless up, bless up. How you doing? How you doing, guys? How you doing? Bless up, everybody. Yes, I want to come to you and bring a little word, a little video. Uh, if you come by and watch later, I appreciate it. But I thank each and every one that's going to come by and watch my video. Yes, bless up, bless up, bless up. It's another day's journey. And I'm glad, I'm glad about, you know I'm glad, I'm glad about, you know I'm glad, I'm glad about. It's another day's journey, Lord, and I'm glad, I'm glad about, you know that I'm so glad to be alive. Yes, glad to be alive. Not under the dirt, not waiting to be put under the dirt. Yes, bless up, y'all. Bless up. Give God the praises and the glory and honor that he is due because he did not have to wake you this morning. He could have let you kept right on sleeping in slumber in a deep sleep. But he touched you with a finger of love. You better bless up. You better tell the Lord, I thank you, Lord. Mm, you better tell him Ooh, Lord, I thank you so. Why? Because I could have been dead, mm, sleeping in my grave. Hallelujah. Oh, but Lord, 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 you may dead. Get back and behave. That's why I got to tell the Lord. Mm. Oh, Lord, 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 Lord. Oh, I thank you, sir. Yes, I thank you, Lord. I could have been dead somewhere sleeping in my grave, but you made death behave. Y'all better bless up, bless up, bless up. Yes, I wanted to come from 2 Timothy 3 and 1, and I wanted to do, um, I was going to go on and read, uh, one through two, and then I'm going over to start at 13, no, 12 through 15, okay, all right, so y'all bless up with me today, bless up, this know also that in the last days, come on, perilous times shall come, we're in the last days, y'all. We don't know the minute, nor the hour, nor the day he's coming back. But he told me to bring this message to you today. This know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own self, converts, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient, children to their parents, unthankful, unholy. Mm, my God. And then we're going over to uh, uh, read 12. Yea, all that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. Jesus suffered, didn't he? And he was holy. So why can't we? We're no better than him. We're going to go through trials and tribulation. I'm going to read on, 13. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. Verse 14 says, But continue thy in the things which thou hast learned that has been assured of, 
knowing of whom thou hast learned them from. Jesus. I'm going to 15. And that from a child that has known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith, which is in Christ Jesus. My God, yes, y'all. We can be, we can learn everything that we need to know and how we need to live through the Word and through God. Yes, through Jesus Christ. The topic is today: What do you want from God? If God offered you, what would you ask Him to do today? If He was right here in the physical flesh. What would you really ask him for? And knowing that he's going to grant you, you your asking what you asking, what would you ask him for? Okay? Because I'm telling you, number one, he listens. People ask God for many different things based on the circumstances through which they currently view the world. For instance, if you were poor and hungry, you could ask God for food. Mm. If you're out of work, you are asking for a new job or a job to make ends meet, to keep a roof over your family's head, to pay your bills, to put food on your table, clothes on your back, shoes on your feet. Mm, come on, Jesus, help me now. Because the devil was trying to get busy. I done tried to do this video three times, and I'm going to tell you, the devil is being busy, y'all. And I'm going to tell you, he, is, he come through your family. Through your family. My family know I go live around this time. I do whatever I do for God during this time. With my YouTube channel, I'm telling you, they calling back to back. That's the devil. Trying to make me lose my, mm, come on, Jesus. But I'm trying to live right. I'm not perfect. But I'm trying to get there. I don't want Satan trying to attack me, not even through my family, to keep me from getting what God wants me to be. And we got to be like that. I don't care if it's family. Sometimes you have to shut them out and put them to the side and put them on the back burner and pick God up in your life and let him lead and guide you. I ain't trying to preach, but since the devil was trying to come at me, God is putting it on my heart. But I'm not preaching. Come on, go with me, y'all. Continue to go with me because I'm going to tell you some things today. God, sometimes you could even be sick and need a healing in your body. Or uh, perhaps your, your family is dying. And you want to ask God to let them live. You want to ask him to heal your body. What you want from God today? What would you ask him for? Number two. God gives us better desires. This side of eternity. Life can be challenging. The sun shines but it. But it also rains, and for some, it storms relentlessly for days, weeks, months, years on hand. Yet, there is hope. Yes, there is hope. Y'all keep listening, keep listening. Go with me now, go with me. Come on, Jesus. Jesus said that God knows our needs before we ask. In other words, God knows what we really need, and he does, y'all. He knows it already. So whether rich or poor, sick or healthy, happy or sad, or anything else, his promise is there is something better. Yes, y'all, there is something better. And go with me, go with me. If you don't know him today, go with me, go with me. I'm going to tell you how to get him in your life. Come on, go with me. I'm going to tell you how to get some of these prayers answers. Okay, come on, go with me. The third thing, the promise. He promised us. Life on earth comes to an end for everyone. Yes, it does. One day we got to leave this old place. And when we, we leave and we stand before him, we want to be judged in the right way. We want to make sure what we're doing down here now is pleasing in his eye. So when we stand before him, we hear him say, well done, well done, well done, my good and faithful servant. Go with me, y'all. Come on, keep going with me. However, Jesus promised. Come on, Jesus promised. 
I came that they that thou might have life and have in more abundance. Yes, he wants us to have the best things in life. He wants us to live in happiness. He wants us to live happy, healthy, and, and holy, knowing that who, who we serve, we can lean and depend on him, and he will answer our prayers, y'all. Yeah, because of Jesus, the day will come when we will no longer have to have a reason to ask God for anything because everything we could ever want or need will be provided. Yes, that day will come one day. Be prepared for that day. I'm trying to help you. Come on, go with me. There will be no more storms. Come on, Jesus. Just endless, beautiful days. Forever. Hallelujah, Lord. Number four, the hope. The hope. Jesus said that there were there was only one way to heaven, and it was through him. Hallelujah. If you don't know Jesus, you better get to know him today. Because you can't make it to heaven if you don't know him. You can't get to the Father unless you go through by his son. He told you that. Mm. That's quite a bold statement that Jesus said, ain't it? Yet there's a reason behind it. Yes, there's a reason. The short explanation is God is holy. Yes, he is. We are not God. The creator of the universe is holy, which means he is perfect and pure with no flaws. By his holy nature, God cannot be in the presence. Come on, y'all. Listen to me. In the presence of anyone who is less than holy or not holy because we are flawed by disobedience to God's desires, y'all. We can't be disobedient to the word. We got to know that God is just who he say he is. He going to do just what he said he going to do. And if we don't do what we supposed to do, mm, things going to happen. We, we, we're we not going to make it. We're not going to make it, y'all. We won't make it into the kingdom. But 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 I'm, I'm trying to help you today. Come on. Yes, I'm trying to help somebody today. God wants me to help somebody today. So y'all bless up, bless up, bless up. Yes, yes, bless up. Okay, the hope. I told you about the hope. And the disobedience. And the flaws. We got to get unflawed. We got to get these flaws out of our life, y'all. We got to start trying to do better. Mm. Have you ever told a lie? Said something unkind to someone? Stolen anything? Cheated on anyone? We are flawed and fall short of his holiness, holiness of God. We fall short of the glory of God, y'all, because we are full of flaws. We, 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 mm, these, uh, uh, mm, come on, Lord. Even the slightest flaw will keep us from being in his presence in eternity unless, finna tell you, unless, Jesus reconciled this issue. Mm, number five, Jesus has to reconcile this issue. God instructs for our lives, instructions for our lives comes with a price that must be paid if they are broken. My God. The price is eternal death because eternal life can only be in the presence of, of the Holy God. My Jesus. Thus, when we break any of God's moral laws, we are flawed. And a flawed person has nothing with which to pay the price to a holy God. We ain't got nothing. We can't give. Because we're living in, in, in sin, y'all. We got all this sin going on in our life. We can't, God can't, can't see, see through all that sin. I mean, he can see us, but... It, it, we so we so 
are covered with sin that it's hard for him to, to hear from us. So we got to try to clean ourselves up and make ourselves over through Christ. I keep going with me, y'all. Come on, go with me. Mm. God knows this. He knows this. Yet he loves us so much that rather than see us die an eternal death, he paid the price for us. He sent his perfect son, Jesus, come on, to earth to give us life in exchange for ours. He wants our life, y'all. He wants us to live holy. He wants us to try to live righteous in his word, in him, faith, trusting and believing in his word. We learning the word. When we learn the word, we got to do better. We can't keep doing the same old thing and thinking he's going to keep cleaning us up and blessing us and forgiving us. When you know better, you're supposed to do better. Yes, God is not going to keep forgiving you for the same thing when you already learned that it's not right. And you know it's not right, but yet and still you keep wanting to do that same. He's not going to keep forgiving you. Come on now. Go with me now. Yes, bless up, bless up, bless up. Yes, bless up. He sent his perfect son, Jesus, to earth to give his life in exchange for ours. Jesus said, there is no greater love than the, the love to lay down. I can't read my own writing sometimes, y'all. There is no greater love than to lay down one's life for their friends. He said it, he, it, he said it, and then he did it. See, Jesus loved us so well. God loved us so well. He, he sent his son, and Jesus laid down his life for us as his friends, as his family, as loved ones. To be saved, y'all, to be delivered. To live according to the word, to live according to what God wants us to do. Yes, he did it. He did it for us, y'all. Yes, he did. Paying the price that would ease our flaws, making, our, making us flawless. We got a chance, y'all, to get those flaws out of our life, to be corrected, to clean up. Mm. Mm -hmm. Come on, Jesus. We got to clean up mm, what I messed up mm, and start my life over again. Yeah. I got to clean up yeah, what I messed up mm -hmm, and start my life over again. Yeah. I made up my mind. I'm not playing no more. Cause mm, 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 can't make it through the door. I gotta clean up, yeah. What I messed up, yeah. And start my life over again, yeah. We gotta clean up what we messed up and start this thing over again. That's what God giving us the opportunity today. And each day that He wakes you up, you got another chance to clean up what you messed up. And start your life over again. Yes, yes, making us flawless, holy, that we can live in God's presence in eternity. So that we can live in God's presence in eternity, having the best things, everything we need and desire of our hearts is waiting, y'all, for us. Mm -hmm. I ain't going to keep you long. I'm almost done. But I had to come tell somebody this today. The Lord wanted me to tell you. I don't know who I'm speaking to, but he told me to bring the word. Number six, do you want, do you want to know him today? Do you want to know him? That's my question to you. Do you want to know the Lord? In your heart, do you really, 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 y'all leave them nails yeah. on the work? Do you really, really want to, do you really want to know the Lord today? 
Do you want to live in his presence? Do you want to bask the glory of his presence? Do you want to see the beauty of his kingdom? Come on, y'all. The only thing God requires is that you acknowledge and accept the gift he has given us through the price he paid through the sacrifice of his son. Jesus, if any, if in your heart you believe this is true, you might say something. You might say something like this. Come on. God, I want to know what you know. I don't know the way or I have lost my way or even I think I know the way. But I believe your way is better. Come on, help me. I believe your way is better, Lord. I want to do better today. It said, I, I believe your way is better. I have arrived at the crossroads in my life where I believe and confess that Jesus Christ. Okay. Tell him. I believe. Let me take that back because Hannah is interrupting me with the loud talking. But anyway, we're going to praise God for her. I have arrived at the crossroads. See, Satan tried to get to you all kind of ways. He, he take people. Hannah. Okay, okay, Lord. Woosah, woosah. Come on, Jesus. I have arrived at the crossroad in my life, y'all. Somebody may be saying this. Where I believe and confess that Jesus is the Son of God. And I want to know you today. You want to know God today? You want to make the decision. He does the rest. All you got to do today, and I'm come to tell you that, all you got to do today is let God acknowledge him and let him know that you, you, you realize that you come to the end and you don't want to go no further. You're tired of living the way you've been living. You want to change your ways. You want to uh, give your life back to him. And once you do that, and you be sincere and open-hearted and wholehearted, he's going to do the rest. I'm telling you. Come on. Trust him today. Believe in him. God got you. I just came by to bless somebody. I just came by to bless somebody today. Yes, no matter what you're going through, you, you, you know there's a better place. There's hope. And there's somebody that one day we'll be able to live and vast in the glories and the riches of his land, the promised land. Yes, the promised land. I want to go where the thunder don't roll. That's where, where the winds don't blow. Oh, I want to go where the rain don't pour. For when I leave this world, return home. I want to go where the thunder don't roll. Mm. That's where, where the winds don't blow. Oh, I want to go where the rain don't pour. For when I leave this world, come on, Jesus, to return no more. Let me tell you, down here below, there's nothing but pain and woe. Off to glory is where I want to go. Mm. I want to see the creator of you and me. Up in heaven is where I want to be. Yeah. I want to go. Somebody want to go where the thunder don't roar. Get your life right today. That's where. Let them work on you. Where the winds don't blow. We're not perfect, but he's working. I want to go 
Will the rain don't pour for when I leave this world to return no more. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Bless up, bless up. Heaven is waiting. Get right, y'all. He wants us to get right. Yes. Bless up, bless up, bless up. Be encouraged, be inspired, be uplifted. I love you, I love you, I love you, and God loves you more. Bless up, y'all. Enjoy your day. Bless up.